Hey guys, D-Mike here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. We were able to successfully complete the Forbidden Woods, rescue Makar, get the boomerang, and now we're outside. So first, you got mail. Let's go ahead and check this out and see what this is all about. Good evening. There's a letter for Link. One letter. Here it is. Oh, I like that it spits it at you. It's very, very moist mailbox. If you like moist mailboxes, consider liking the video, commenting, and subscribing. Dear Link, if you're reading this letter, it can only mean you have peeked into one of our many post boxes. I'm indebted to you. I'm very sorry. Oh, I was very spitty there, too. I'm very sorry I let you leave without thanking you. Please accept my heartfelt apology along with my thanks. We cannot do much to help you, but we can at least do this. If we get any letters or parcels for you, we will deliver them to a post box near you. If you see any wiggling post boxes, is that a wiggling post box? Are you happy to see me? Please look inside. Suppose you have a long way to go before your perilous journey is done. I've included a gift. Please accept a small token. Kamali's father. Well, bro, thanks. That's kind of a big deal. And while we're here, let's go ahead and get a little bit of inventory. Today's episode is going to be brought to you by side quests, so I hope you like those because we're doing a bunch. I don't know why he says that. Can you sell stuff? All right, so we do want to get a pair. I think we have two. Thank you. Thank you. Great, thanks. And I think I want to buy some bait. I don't know if I'm going to use this or not, but it's always good to have. I don't know if we'll wind up accumulating the 30 points or not throughout the course of this run through. Let's check our... No, not that. This? Bait bag? Yeah, so we've got... Oh, we got four pairs. And seven... Th that's probably too much. That's okay. You know. Better safe than sorry. Better safe than sorry. Um... So we're going to be doing, oops, overshot the boat. Nice. Maybe. We must set sail and meet, yeah, we will. But I'm also going to be dilly-dallying a little bit too. So, um, this is obviously the forest haven. And I believe that we want to go a little bit east. No. Be nice if I could look at my map here. Yeah, we got a lot of things to do, and I don't remember the order in which I'm going to do them. So bear with me here. So we want to go one screen east of the Forest Haven. Ooh, which I think is this way. Yeah, that's west. Okay, it's the exact opposite way. <laughs> There's a bunch of little islands around here that have... Treasure that we want to that we want to gather. So I'm all right. I'm just gonna probably be like gathering um, these little glowing spots because why not? Okay, right past it. Just gonna sneak right past you. Don't actually want to do that. This looks pretty good. And whoop, salvage. Come on. I was never good at those crane games as a kid. Okay, maybe not. Um. It's like right here-ish. Maybe here. What do you think? Oh, there we go. I like how me just moving a tiny bit was enough to trigger it. And this is just money once again. I don't know if slash what I'm going to need money, but... When in Rome, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> saying? Okay. So, let's go ahead and get the Wind Waker out. Not because I need it to move directions of the wind. It's more of like... Letting me know where things are, because I'm stupid. And my sense of direction... This game is actually really funny that I'm playing this game, because my sense of direction is probably the worst of anybody I've ever met, so... It's very telling that... This game would be what I choose to do. I don't know... I think this is where I want to be. Yeah, there's a bunch of little islands around here that you can explore... 
after you do certain parts of the game. Are there sharks in this water? I think we can get on this. We can just like climb up this. There's a, like a little spot where you can get get all up on it. I'm gonna need you to back off, Free Willy. Yeah, I think we could just get on the island from over here. That looks climbable, right? Let's go ahead and hop into this very dangerous shark infested water. King of Red Lines is like, yeah, that's fine. I don't see any problem with this. So yeah, this is the, um, I think these are the Cliff Plateau Isles. I did write some notes, but I have since lost them. So I'm just going to be winging it today. But I believe there are goodies here. I can see a nice juicy hole right there that we are going to explore. Ba-doom. Some really nice things that we're actually going to be acquiring in this episode, so you can thank me later. I think the next two, the next episode as well, will probably be side questy as well. So hopefully you like that. It's just preparation for the future viewers. Think of this as like the gaming equivalent of your 401k. Volatile, uncontrollable. Something you probably get through your job if you are of working age and then immediately forget about it once you have it. There's a little bit of rupeeage here. I want to grab that yellow rupee just because it feels wasteful not to. Can I get to it from here? Ooh. That's a little bit of a tricky jump. So we've essentially almost replenished the dollary dues that we spent at Beetle Shop. There was a really funny part when I went and I rewatched the last episode that I did, which you should be doing. Let's give this Let's give Zelda some more love, y'all. Like, what's what's wrong with you? Watch some Zelda. Good for you. Um, and I said something about how, like, I was doing something stupid. I don't remember exactly what it was. And then, uh, in the meantime of me saying that, you know, Link's reaction when he does things is he goes, yep. And that was very fitting. Hopefully, if any of you noticed that, hopefully you enjoyed that, because that to me is very funny. Alright, nope. Man, I don't remember. Can we... Oh yeah, we can kill these guys. That's right. The boomerang is one of those items that you don't really use a ton after you get it. I mean, there are moments when you can use it. There are... There's actually an enemy... Whoa, hello. Coming up. Maybe in this episode, maybe not. Nice wall rupee. That actually is dispatched via boomerang. So, you've got that to look forward to. That might be today, that might be the next episode, whenever I make these. I do really enjoy playing this game, though. Not that I don't enjoy playing the other games that I record, but this one in particular, I really enjoy. Um, and I think it's, I mean, sim simply, I mean, if you have played this game, you'll know that it's really fun and really well made, obviously. Which is the irony of... of how badly people really hated this game when it first came out. Because after that E3, the gaming convention, people were expecting what now turned out to be Twilight Princess, but this obviously came out before that. Twilight Princess was the final Zelda on the GameCube. And this was the second to last one on the GameCube. And so for a lot of people, they were really upset about the fact that this art style was what they were getting. You know, they went from Ocarina of Time. Dude, that's gnarly. What do we get? Oh, it's a joy pendant. Am I stuck in here? Oh, you get that and it just... It just goes away. I think I'm probably gonna have to... Wait a second. Um... Well, there was... Uh, 
There was that flaming... There's some flaming torches here, which usually whenever you see those is probably an indicator that you're going to be setting something on fire. And... There was also... That... Uh, what was that called? There's a blocked door over there. Can I light this and then still use the bulb? Let's find out. That'd be amazing. Oh, no. Oh, you can't. What? I didn't know you could do that. Alright, well. Oop. Nope. That's not how I do that. How do I throw? B? You're such a B. I'm gonna throw you. And a boop. Nice. Okay. Um. I, uh. Can I just. Oh, yeah. That's just the way out. Okay, I, sorry, I got excited about that. Oh, wait a second. There's a core rock out here. The tree is withering. Oh, no. That's sad. Can I talk to you instead? I'm trying to do that. Thank you. Oh, you're not doing so hot, buddy. Hmm. So you collectively fail. Oh. Um. I mean, I can do that. Do I have time for that? If I would have known, I would have grabbed that when I was already over there. I did not know that. I was not warned. But I did get a treasure chart, so... Sorry. I don't know if that's like an optional thing. Ooh. Oh, it's a blue chew. We haven't seen one of those in a while. Isn't blue chew like some sort of enhancement? I always see those on podcasts. Brought to you by blue chew. I feel like all these... Nowadays, all these podcasts and... And like YouTube in general, like anybody that, that does like endorsements, like it's always the same crap, right? Hello Fresh and NordVPN and I shouldn't say crap because maybe someday I'll be, you know, wanting to get endorsed by them too. But yeah, I mean, it's all like, it's uh, basically what I'm trying to say is it's always the, the same two or three different companies that are advertising like NordVPN and ExpressVPN and VPN VPN and whatever. Okay. Where's the boat? Uh, where'd you go, buddy? There he is. Let's see if I can drop down on him like a paratrooper. Like a Koopa paratrooper. Ooh, this is such a waste of magic, but I don't care. Because we're going to be rectifying that soon. Haha, <laughs> look at that. That was cool. Alright. So... One thing I should do is I haven't opened any of my treasure charts. So I should probably do that. Does this put on the map where these treasure charts correspond to? I don't know how to use these, to be completely honest with you. Uh, okay. But, um... We need to head southeast of the Forest Haven, which that might be. Magic wand, help us! Yeah. So it seems like it's even further that way, I guess. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going the right way or not. I mean, technically, the Forest Haven, there isn't really a lot... ...left to go to. Like, on the map, because we're on the bottom of the map. 
But there is this. This is not where I was trying to go. Maybe it's over there. I don't know. I'm gonna go kill some baddies, though. I got some things shooting fire over here. I don't like that. Oh, are those whiz robes? We have not seen whiz robes in this Let's Play yet. Alright, well, it's time to kick some tail here. Ooh, I'm... Prepare yourself for that sound. That's coming up in a in an eventual dungeon. I'm not going to be... Okay, great. I saw that coming, and I still, for some reason, climbed ahead. That was dumb. All right, so I don't need joy pendants. I'm just trying to kill these Boca Blin. Or, these are, these are not Boca Blins. These are just the Coblins. Which I think is the same thing I just said. That I just said it's not when it is. All right. That's a whiz robe. There's two of them, actually. I just want to know what you, what you get from them when you... Yeah, this is going to be bad. So, I'm just going to grab this and leave. Oh, totally worth it. Yeah, I think if you... Obviously, if you kill every one of these boys, then you get something. But, uh... Having a rough go here, so I'm just going to dip. See you, bye! Alright, so I think actually where we do want to go is over here. Which it looks pretty far away. So... It is. And of course... Distraction Simulator. I gotta remember that the only way to really stop the boat is to... Use the grappling hook. Money, money, money! Making a ton of progress in this episode. We have gotten a piece of heart, though. Which was accomplished within 10 seconds. And a treasure chart, so... I'm getting all these treasure charts and I don't know how to use them. So, it's basically just me showing you what to do. If that helps. Because I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea, so... Let's go! Ooh, there's a fish. Whoa! What's up, fish? We haven't actually used any of the bait yet that we just bought, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's get Deku Leaf. Bait. Jabated. That's a... That's a, um... Like a speed runners thing that those nerds say. Alright, buddy. Help me out. Let's get this map filled up. I haven't been very diligent about that. Man, that face is creepy. I do. Say please. Alright. Five star aisles. We have made it. The ghost ship. Oh. Yeah, we'll be checking that out later. Thanks, bud. Okay. So... Bunch of these dumb birds. There should be some treasure out here that we want to get. I'm gonna need you all to bump off. I do not have any business with any of you. I think this might need to happen. We might have to wait till nighttime. Unless I don't have the right... I might not have the right stuff for it. I have skipped some stuff in the past, so maybe I don't have it. Let me check my treasure chart collection. Oh, I don't... <laughs> okay. So, according to my notes, I don't think I have the right treasure chart for this. So, that was a waste of time. Who knew? Uh, that's okay. We're still doing fine. We are going to continue on. I think this is the way that I want to go. Let me look at my map. Yep. These are all just things you can do. Obviously optional. None of this is required to beat the game. But I want to do it. Because I'm just a cool guy. So we'll come back to some of this later, obviously. But here's another one of them submarines. Nice submarine sandwich. Does anybody remember when Subway was good? 
Please don't sue me, Subway. All right, so we've got another submarine challenge. Okay, I'm gonna need you to back off. So we're fighting, we're fighting the Coblins again. I'm just gonna make this quick. Is that a double kill? Oh yeah, you bet it was. Of course, there are keys, which now you could Z target the right way. We can kill with our boomerang. Oh yeah, these boys got shields. And they can be stunned with the boomerang, so it does have utility. I know it's probably one of those items that as people play through the game, they probably don't expect to really use it outside of the initial place that you do. Where you get it. And that's kind of like a theme for some Zeldas, is you get an item and then you don't really do anything with it. I'm gonna take you out. No real need to kill those keys, but I don't want to contend with them. Very annoying. All right, here we go. And the teleporting chest pops right in. Love a nice big chest. Here we go. Oh my gosh. So there we go. It's actually very nice that I'm collecting pieces of heart because I am struggling with my health. Literally and figuratively in the game and I am still getting over a cold. Have you ever had a cold that just lingers viewers? You ever had that? Real annoying. Okay, let's go back on the boat. Did I just see you yawn? You are a boat. Do not want to see boats yawning. All right. So the next destination we have, we're gonna take the Wind Waker out again. It's very useful when you don't know where you're going. We're gonna head west. Okay. Ooh. As far as I know, yeah, I don't think that I'm getting any feedback from that spot over there. I think you have to... It's a corresponding treasure chart, and I think you actually do have to... ...have the right one, and I don't. But I'm getting a ton of money today, which is sweet. Yeah, that's 150 rupees that I didn't have initially. We've now maxed it out. As you can all recall. In the Wind Waker HD, you get a max of 500. So, there you go. So we're going to be sailing west. This might be the last thing that we do. This episode isn't the most exciting, but the next one we have a lot more to accomplish. Oh! I like how the game just like spits it in and there's a bunch of these like aquatic pea hats here. These things are kind of terrifying. What is going on? All right, I think this is what I wanted to do. Maybe. The person. Hello. Hello. Okay. Trying to circle back here and I'm doing a very poor job. I just want to go talk to this guy. I think this is what I want to do. Today. Hopefully I can even climb on this thing. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, I can I can see a little bit of a ledge. Yeah, these things are kind of nasty. They almost kind of look like those uh like those big what is it? A Bronzong from Pokemon? I don't recall. Okay. Let's go talk to this guy real quick. His wife beat her. Pretty slick boat you got there, kiddo. Play a boat game? For 30 rupees? Not yet. I think there's something over on this side that we want to get to. So let's go ahead and help ourselves out. Looks like we're gonna need a little bit of help here. Cause I don't think we can make it just by itself. So let's go ahead and get our Deku leaf back out. Okay, good. 
Cool. And whoop. Got just enough magics. Would love to actually get more of it. Which today we're not gonna do much with that, but let's jump in this hole. Ooh, look at these. We haven't actually seen these guys. These are mini blends. Which, uh... You would find for the first time in the Forbidden Fortress. But we didn't actually see them. Or Forsaken Fortress, sorry, I said Forbidden. Forbidden, Forsaken, whatever. I don't know if these are if there's an endless amount of these boys, because I might just be killing these guys for no reason. I think it is. It might be. Alright, so... I'd love to Z-target onto... This? That's actually not what I did. This is causing massive slowdown of my Wii U. Surprising. How could the Wii U have such a problem? What a highly powered console. Nope, get away from me. You gotta kind of clear these boys out over time. I think this is kind of an endless gauntlet of them as you try to hit these switches. Alright, I'm gonna need you to back off Mini Blends. Actually, I actually have a... I have a feline. Her name is Mini. And so, whenever I see her, I, you, I do the Mini Blend sound. I go, Mini, Mini! Alright, this one's a little trickier to get for some reason. Alright, maybe I try to go for this one instead. This will be the last thing I do. There are drops though from these guys, which is nice. I think we do get plenty of hearts and whatnot. I gotta go. I gotta go quick here. No time to joke around. There we go. All right, that's one. One more. All right, fellas, let's get out of the way here. This is unnecessarily tricky. Maybe if I back up a little bit, that's because I keep getting in the way. Yeah, you gotta be in the right spot for it. This third one. Probably really easy to get, but I'm an idiot, so there we go. Try to hurry. There we go. It's actually a very interesting item that we're about to get. More paperwork, of course. But you'll appreciate this, maybe, or not. Alright, this submarine chart. So, now that we have that we can see where all the future submarines will be in the game. There you go. So, in the future we've knocked off the one that we just did, and then there was another one not too far from Windfall. So, that's, I think there's seven total, so we've got five more to go. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. And, I do want to try that boat game actually, I don't know what there is to do about it, but why not embarrass myself for a few minutes? You all love that, don't you? Alright. Let's go ahead and climb back up and talk to this jabroni. Alright, yeah, let's do it. We have a lot of money anyway, so we need to spend some of it. What do you say, kiddo? Oh, I should have asked the rules. <laughs> oh boy! I don't know the rules. Okay. Am I just supposed to try to get as much money as I can in four minutes? Oops. Well, that's probably not good. I like having the sailing music as I, like, just tread water here. Is that what this is? Try to get as much money as you can, or something? I don't know. Whoop. Okay. Guess you gotta jump a little sooner, huh? I'm assuming it's money-based, because there's a rupee counter. Whoop. There we go. Let's try to not goof this. There we go, look at that. We're picking up what you're... Putting down. We're smelling what you're stepping in. Okay, just kidding. A little preemptive. I don't know if I want to be doing this for four minutes, though. That's a long time. 
Am I just supposed to be completing the course? Is the money arbitrary? Viewers? This is one of those things where if I was streaming, people would probably be absolutely furious with me. Because I don't know what I'm doing. And I decided to negate the rules. That was actually not on purpose. I would have actually really enjoyed the rules. Alright, so you do actually have to get a little bit of air there. Prior to... Coming into contact with the thing, which you don't want to do, actually. And it seems like it's a pretty generous hitbox. If you can make it around it. Yeah, that's not bad. This is a lot of money. I actually don't want this. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter whether or not I want it. I, uh... I don't need it. Very privileged thing to say. I'm so wealthy in this game. There is a larger wallet that we will eventually grab, so don't worry about it. So, am I just sailing back to the beginning? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna grab this red rupee here real quick. Coming in hot. Boom. All right, I did it. 124 rupees. Is that good? Nice. Do I get anything for that? Oh, that's literally just a way to make money. Okay, that's kind of convenient, though. I mean, I I just made 124 rupees in a minute and a half. That's pretty nice. So, yeah, hey, in the future, come down here to second square from, second square from the bottom. Get yourself some rupees. All right, well, that's pretty much all we've got for today. We're going to do some more side questing next time. In the next episode of The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD. Mouthful. And I'll see you next time for more. Bye.